But here are a few examples of Eric Dubay's complete nonsensical claims which are not true. At 40 minutes and 28 seconds in the video, 200 proofs the Earth is not a spinning ball video book, the claim that skyscrapers can be seen from Apple Pie Hill, which is 205 feet, for a distance of 40 miles is made. However, Apple Pie Hill is 205 feet tall, but there is a 60-foot observation tower on top of the hill. Furthermore, the Philadelphia skyscrapers are only visible from 30 miles away, as the hill is 30 miles away from Philadelphia, and not much of them are even visible, not 40 miles away, as Dubay claims. These distances make a huge difference when talking about how buildings should be or shouldn't be able to be seen from a certain distance. The examples go on and on. At 40 minutes and 44 seconds in the video, 200 proofs Earth is not a spinning ball. Eric Dubay claims that Bear Mountain is 60 miles away from the New York City skyline from where it's being viewed. However, this is not true. Bear Mountain is 37 miles away from the New York City skyline. There is also a 40-foot observation tower on top of the mountain, which is not mentioned, which is the only place capable of getting the view he uses. Again, this is an exaggeration of 23 miles and the omission of a 40-foot observation tower. Both of these things will completely change the fact whether buildings should be seen over the curved earth. At 41 minutes and 16 seconds into his video, Eric Dubay claims that you can see the skylines of both New York and Philadelphia from Washington Rock. However, this isn't true. You cannot see the skyline of Philadelphia from Washington Rock, and Eric Dubay is the only person to have ever made this assertion. New York is of course only 26 miles away, so it should be visible from 400 feet. At an observation angle of 400 feet, a distance of 26 miles away should only have 1.5 feet of elevation hidden behind the curvature of the Earth. So towering skyscrapers in New York should mostly be visible, and that's exactly what we see. At 42 minutes and 12 seconds, Eric Dubay asserts that the Queen said they were able to see the Grimsby Dock Tower from 70 miles away in Hall. The only problem with this is, Hall is only 15 miles away from Grimsby. Is it possible that Eric Dubé has no clue whatsoever what he's talking about? Or is he maliciously inflating numbers over and over again? From the furthest point in Hall, the Grimsby Dock Tower would be at most 23 miles away. So where is Eric Dubé getting 70 miles from? Even though Eric Dubé is off on a distance of about 55 miles, do you think he will ever make a retraction or tell his viewers and listeners that he was incorrect? This is an enormous mistake to make, and time and time again Eric Dubé inflates numbers to create his own points. It's as if he's making up these numbers as he goes along. Another interesting thing about Eric Dubé's tall tales is that most of them come from hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Why is it we're hearing stories about people that allegedly viewed things hundreds of years in the past and we're not seeing these things replicated today using modern cameras and telescopes? Why is it we have so many historical references and tales that apparently cannot be reproduced that are regurgitated as if they're fact? Why are we not looking at the actual views? Why are we not looking at the actual distances? Is this guy completely making everything up as he goes along? Why bother making a lighthouse taller than 50 feet on a flat earth? Let's take a second to think about this. Because the only thing obstructing your view should be waves and other boats and vessels, the only reason to make a lighthouse taller than 50 feet, well, there isn't any. There's no reason to make a lighthouse any taller than, say, 20 feet even. Because the only thing getting in your way would be waves on a flat earth. And seeing as how allegedly light only travels so far, and that's the only thing reducing the visibility of a lighthouse over a great distance, what is the point of making lighthouses taller and taller and taller and placed on high objects and bluffs? There would be no reason to do so. Seeing as how allegedly we live on a flat earth, the only thing reducing the light distance would be the power of the lighthouse's actual lamp. This isn't the case though. Lighthouses are always built on taller objects, and the taller the lighthouse, the further away it can be seen. Flat earthers love lighthouses, but they don't like to talk about this particular point.